Hello everyone! Ever wondered how AI can master games like chess or drive a car without human intervention? Let's explore the thrilling world of reinforcement learning to uncover the secrets behind these incredible feats. Reinforcement learning is a type of machine learning where a computer learns to make better decisions by trying different actions and getting rewards or penalties based on the outcomes. Imagine you have a child who wants to learn how to sort apples, oranges, and mangoes into separate baskets. At first, the child doesn't know the difference between these fruits and randomly places them into the baskets. Initially, the child starts by placing fruits into different baskets without knowing if it's correct. Each time the child places a fruit, you give feedback. If they place an apple in the apple basket, you say, great job. If they place an apple in the orange basket, you gently correct them. Oops, that's not right. Over time, the child uses your feedback to understand which actions lead to positive responses. They start recognizing patterns like apples are generally round and red or green, mangoes are yellow, and oranges are round and orange. As the child continues to sort more fruits and receive feedback, they improve their sorting strategy. Eventually, the child becomes very good at sorting the fruits correctly based on their features. Similarly, initially the machine doesn't know the difference between apples, oranges, and mangoes. It starts by randomly placing fruits into different baskets. Each time the machine places a fruit, it receives feedback in the form of rewards or penalties. For example, if it places an apple in the apple basket, it gets a reward. If it places an apple in the orange basket, it gets a penalty. Over time, the machine uses this feedback to learn which actions lead to positive rewards. It starts recognizing patterns like apples are generally round and red or green, mangoes are yellow, and oranges are round and orange. As the machine continues to sort more fruits and receive feedback, it improves its sorting strategy to maximize the rewards. Eventually, it becomes very good at sorting the fruits correctly based on their features. Here are a few implementations of reinforcement learning algorithms in real-life applications. Autonomous vehicles Application Self-driving cars use reinforcement learning to make real-time driving decisions, such as lane-keeping, collision avoidance, and navigation through traffic. The car's AI learns to drive by interacting with its environment, receiving rewards for safe driving actions and penalties for unsafe actions. This learning process involves extensive simulations and real-world testing to ensure safety and efficiency. Robotics Application Robots use reinforcement learning to perform complex tasks like grasping objects, assembling parts, and walking. The robot learns through trial and error, receiving rewards for successful task completion and penalties for failures. This allows the robot to improve its motor skills and adapt to different tasks and environments. Game playing. Application. AI agents use reinforcement learning to play and master games such as chess, Go, and video games. The AI learns optimal strategies by playing numerous games, receiving rewards for winning or achieving high scores, and penalties for losing. Notable examples include DeepMind's AlphaGo, which defeated human champions in the game of Go, and OpenAI's Dota 2 bots. Personalized recommendations. Application. Online platforms use reinforcement learning to provide personalized recommendations for movies, music, products, and content. The recommendation system learns user preferences by interacting with users, receiving rewards when users engage with recommended content and penalties for low engagement. This approach helps in continuously improving the relevance and accuracy of recommendations. These implementations showcase the versatility and power of reinforcement learning algorithms in solving complex real-world problems by enabling systems to learn and adapt through interactions with their environments. I trust you found this video helpful. Thank you.